ladies and gentlemen. This woman that you're looking at, her name is Carla Lassiter, and she is the teacher that forced a five-year-old black child to unclog a toilet with feces in it. And the mother is now demanding that this teacher be fired. You know, I didn't want to do the story and not know who this teacher was. So I was able to find her name. So this came out on Blavity News. Black mom demands termination of an Arkansas teacher who forced her five-year-old son to unclog a toilet with his hands. Now you know why they want your children in school. So they can further psychologically damage them because the name of the game is psychological warfare. They can't do that in virtual class. You know, too many parents are watching. So now they need to get these kids back in school so they can further damage them more. So March 10th, 2021, a mother of a black five-year-old student is demanding the termination of a white teacher who forced her son to unclog a school bathroom toilet with his bare hands. She got on the phone with me and said she didn't have an explanation. She just knew she was wrong. This is coming from the mother. Ashley Murray, the boy's mother, told local news station K-A-R-K, but she stated that the principal that she was trying to teach how not to stop up a toilet that is not how you teach a child not to stop of a toilet when they have their feces in the bowl and you're telling them to put their bare hands in. That, that's not how you teach anything. That was to psychologically damage that five-year-old boy. It was not for any other reason. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. The boy identified on his family GoFundMe page and they have a GoFundMe. I'll try to put the GoFundMe in the comment section for anybody that might be interested in donating. Okay, so he's identified on the GoFundMe page as Ashton and is a kindergarten student at Crystal Hill Elementary School in Little Rock. The child's mother said she was horrified to learn that he was instructed to remove feces and soiled toilet paper from a toilet. Don't these schools have janitors? Isn't that the job of the janitor? And if the janitor don't do it, he is supposed to get somebody in that can do the job. Okay, then what the janitor for if you're going to be doing stuff like that? You don't need a janitor. Oh, man. The boy's grandmother... Tammy criticized the teacher's inability to provide a rational, um, I guess she wanted an explanation and this teacher just couldn't give one because she was just being an effing. We know why she did it. You, you can best believe you will never hear about this happening to a white child. You can best believe you won't. Okay. So she criticized the teacher's inability to provide a rationale behind the directive, strongly expressing that it was unacceptable. You want your child to put their hands in their physically and clean out a commode. That's not a child's job. That's not a student's job, period. No, no, no. He's not a janitor, exactly. He's not a custodian. He's not a maintenance. He, no, not at all, the grandmother said. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Ashley has since pulled Ashton out of classes at the school and has urged that the teacher be held accountable for traumatizing her son. That was the goal. That was the goal. They, they, they're not interested in teaching our kids. You have to ask yourself, black students, what are all these white female teachers doing around all of these black children? They're doing just what this teacher is doing. They're trying to psychologically damage them, make them feel like they're less than, make them feel like they're never going to be as good. And the hell with teaching. It's not about teaching, y'all. It's never been about teaching. They don't care what your kids know or don't know. 
They don't care. They're only there to make sure they will stay behind the white kids. It is no other reason for their presence. Okay, according to KARK, the Pulaski County Special School District has placed a teacher on administrative leave, you know, just like they do to the cops. Cops do something, put them on administrative leave, put them on paid administrative leave. And so they have like a paid vacation while they're under investigation. Now that sounds like a harsh punishment, don't it? <laughs> People are full of shit. And said it is actively investigating the incident. The school district told KARK that the teacher will remain on administrative leave pending the investigation. So she's on vacation while they do their investigation. Employees across the district work hard every day. Here, here, here's the cookie cutter statement, y'all. Here it comes. To create an environment where students feel safe and protected as is district policy. We cannot disclose information regarding the disciplinary and personnel matters. The district told KATV in a statement. The family of the student, however, feel that the teacher needs to be removed in order to ensure the safety of all children. She needs to be terminated. She needs to be arrested. Okay, she needs to be arrested for what she did. That That is abuse. Okay, that's child endangerment, what she did. And she didn't care. And I, and I have to wonder how many other children she did this to. These, these uh, events are never one time. It's never one time. It, it's been multiple times where she's done this and got away with it. Okay, so the mother is saying she needs to be terminated because you don't treat kids like this. He's a kid, Ashley said. I don't ever want this to happen to another child. Again, Tammy added. According to the family GoFundMe page, the family is seeking assistance with legal fees as they try to seek justice from the Pulaski County Special School District. You need to sue this teacher and the, um, yeah, in the school district. Yeah. But don't leave the teacher out. She needs to be sued. You know, if you're not going to have her arrested, sue her, but she really should be arrested for what she did. Now you can't tell me if this wasn't a black female teacher and she did this in a bathroom to a white child, they would have arrested her. Oh, it, 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 they would have came up with charges, even if they had to pull them out of their behinds. The campaign will also support the needs of Ashton, who his mother said has been traumatized with cons uh, counseling as a result of the horrific experience. Yeah, I'm sure it was. She, he should have dug it out the toilet and smeared it all over her. <laughs> she would have got what she deserved. Uh, KTV report published by Fox News 26 found that another mother of a Crystal Hill uh, kindergartner said a similar incident happened to her daughter at the hands of a different teacher last fall. Wait a minute, the same elementary school? Okay, so these teachers are planning this stuff out. So they said a, a little girl in the kindergarten about a year ago experienced the same thing from a different teacher, same elementary school. So these teachers have come together to plan this mess out. Well, you know, they've done this all over the country, but I'm just saying it's very obvious. It, two teachers doing the same thing with two different kindergartners? Come on. Not a coincidence at all. No such thing. So they said this happened last fall. The young girl allegedly used too much toilet paper and was asked to remove the clog uh, with her hands, to remove it from the toilet with her bare hands, her mother said. The woman who wished to remain anonymous contacted the school district who told her it would, uh, they said they would conduct a, an investigation, that's all. But it don't say anything about the other mother suing the school district, which she should have done. This is a common occurrence at this school, it seems, the mother said. I told them 
I pay my taxes so you can have a janitor at the school, not kids unclogging toilets. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, just know psychological warfare is real. It is. And if you've gone through K through 12, especially public school, more than likely you have experienced it or you've seen it happen to children where these teachers will go out of their way to be, like I said, you got Karen and Klan's women in the classroom with these black students. And, you know, it's a shame that people just won't educate their own kids. Do you realize you can educate your kids way better than Carla Lassiter can right here? She can't educate your kids better than you. But for some reason, we believe they can. And it's just simply not true. Nobody can educate your kids better than you, the parent. Not Carla here. Carla is just there to destroy. And you see what she did. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.